All right, I was just searching on Facebook Marketplace and uh, this 1974 Honda CB 350 popped up, uh, really cheap for 600 bucks. Basically it says parts or project bike, Honda CB 350 was a barn find. I have the title from the original owner, but you might need to file for buying a title. Does not run, but engine is not seized. Gas tank is in good condition. Um, it is repairable. Uh, but I don't have the skills or time anymore to fix the bike myself. So it's up for 600. I might get there and offer right around four, maybe 450. Try to get that for the bike. Um, it's in excellent condition though. We'll go through the pictures here. Looks to be complete, which is the main thing. It's red, white, and blue theme. Pretty cool. As you can see, it's all complete. Seat looks in good condition, paint's in good condition, chrome is in good condition, so it shouldn't take too much to get running. Looks like it was well kept, and uh, these bikes go for around $3,000 with a title. So if we can get the title for it, um, this bike is definitely worth uh, restoring here. So let's hit the road and see if we can go make a deal on this bike. Should be pretty fun. Stay tuned. All right, we got the bike in the back there on the trailer, so you can see. Pretty decent condition for an old bike. It's not horrible. A little rusty in some spots, but not horrible all the way around. It has a newer battery. She said she bought last year for it. And then she said that the ignition is kind of janky on it. So the ignition needs some work. So she couldn't get it to run because of the ignition. And then she bought some new fuses for it. And she said the title is a little iffy because the previous owner died and never signed it over. So um, she said it might need to be a bonded title but that's, that's okay, we'll just use it for a project and uh, maybe keep it or something. Um, but yeah, it's a cool bike. Uh, we might get rid of that blue on the tank because that's not original. It's uh, red, white, and blue, probably for 4th of July or something like that, but um, it only has 5,000 miles on it. And I guess the bike was left in the basement and recovered in a barn because the widow moved it to a barn after her husband died and never did anything with it. So. It's basically a brand new bike, 5,000 miles is like nothing for a bike, so it should run good. Um, I kicked it over, it feels like the valves are a little bit tight, so we might have to play with the valves. Um, both carburetors are there, and everything was there that I, could, that I could see. I didn't really take a look too much, but underneath the seat there's a couple fuses and stuff like that, so we'll take a look when we get home, start digging into it, and uh, see what we find. Hopefully we can get this bike running. Alright, just got home, first look. That blue is not supposed to be there. It's not original. I've got the badge in the truck. Mirror still on it. All right, let's get her off the trailer. Take a closer look. All right, well here it is. 1970, I figured out. Honda CB 350. You can see the tag right in there. See, 570. So it's not a 74, like the ad said. Quick walk around of the whole thing, and then we'll go through everything that's wrong with it. So, as you can see, the tank um, is red, white, and blue. I believe it should just be red and white or just red I think maybe just red um, I can't remember when I looked it up but uh, we'll have to strip off that paint um, possibly only the blue hopefully but you can see the chrome is pretty good on it not too bad paints really nice on it it's got the headlight looks like this lever is broken off right here you can see it snapped off. I'm guessing the cables are tight and the lady that previously owned it probably pulled on that too hard and snapped it off. You can see the pipes are here. A little rusty, but they are complete in here. Got the foot peg. <laughs> that looks funny. It's like missing the rubber. Back brake works, looks like. Cool. It's got the center stand on it still. You can see the spring back down here. That's pretty nice. Um, I've got the badge for it in a bag, but let's just 
quick pick off the side cover and see what's underneath there. I want to break it. Looks like there's a pod filter. This is where the filter used to go, the original air filter. Right here. Let's see if there's a tool kit in here. That would be something, wouldn't it? Let's see. Ah, darn, the toolkit's gone. I wonder if the lady robbed it before she sold it. That's a bummer. Well, that would have been cool from 1970 to have a toolkit. We'll put that cover back on. Um, back rims aren't too bad. Definitely needs to be cleaned up a bit. Whole bike needs to be pressure washed. Got the tail light back here, good condition. Chrome on the fender is good, and then it's got the blinkers. So those all look good. Cover on here looks really good with the oop, with the tag still still on it, which is nice. Um, carburetors are here, looking pretty good. Looks like everything's complete in there. Um, all the wiring's intact, nothing's chewed up or anything. Buddy peg on it back here. Let's see if there's a buddy peg. Yep, there's one right there too. So I can take Jade for a ride once we get this thing fixed. Like I said before, 5,103 miles. Gauges are like immaculate on this thing. Really, really nice. This bike does have electric start right here. It's got on off. And then low and high. And then it's got right and left blinker. And I believe a horn is right there. Clutch. Clutch works. Huh. Nice. And then the blinkers are intact over here. So everything looks really good on this bike. So far, how do you get this seat up here? Take a look underneath the seat. Is there like a latch or? Feel a latch right here. Oh, there we go. Cool. Seat looks good. Seat pan looks good. Oh, there's this little thing. Comes down. So you can put the seat up like that. The lady said that she bought a brand new battery for it about a year ago, um, but gave up on it. Oh, look. That's disconnected right there. <laughs> Already probably the problem she had with it. All the wiring looks like it's good. I'll take a look inside the tank here next after we look over a little bit more. Get this cover off to the side. I wish I had the uh, original filter, but that's not that big of a deal. Looks like the petcock is right here for the tank. Looks to be in fairly good condition. She must have taken in the tank to have it looked at. But it looks like the petcock goes from here and then there's a line that goes, that crosses over between the gas tank for the gas. Here's the big horn on it. <laughs> that thing's giant. Pretty cool though. Take a look inside the gas tank next. All right, let's take a look at the gas tank in here. Ooh. Doesn't look like any rust, really. It looks really good. All right, so that saves me a lot of time from having to clean up the gas tank. So man, this thing is really nice. I guess let's start digging into it. Oh yeah, we forgot. I've got the title here and then some more parts. Let's see what we've got going on. So I guess something's going on with the ignition, which is right there. She said that she had a locksmith look at it and she thinks it's missing a pin. Oh yeah, right there. So it looks like it's missing one of the pins. So that 
is supposedly supposed to go in through there like that. I don't know how that works. But we'll have to figure out the ignition. If not, we'll, for the time being, we'll hot wire it. All right, what else we got? Oh, she did get a new uh, brake lever for it. Let's see, is it the right one? This one's attached already to there. So we could just rob this. Yeah, that should work, I would think. Cool. Yeah, we'll just rob this brake lever, put that in there. So I don't think we have to buy any parts for it yet, if we can get the ignition working. And some, I don't know what those were before, maybe the carburetor? Not sure. Let's see what else we got in here. A couple clips. Here's the badge, the 350 badge for the other cover. I took that off because it was pretty windy. And there's a couple titles on this thing. I'm not going to show the title. Her name was Lucy, it looks like. Year 1971, that's at least what the title says. Looks like she probably died. Um, any other parts in here? Doesn't look like there's any other parts. All right, so that's the bike so far. Oh yeah, there's a starter down there too. So that's the bike. Um, we're going to start with the battery. Um, See if that takes a charge, and then probably hook up some jumpers to it and see if it lights up. We gotta get the ignition figured out as well. So, lots of stuff to do. Let's try to get this bike running. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that it does turn over. It is a little hard to kick over, so I'm thinking maybe the valves are tight. Probably need some WD-40 down the cylinders, but um, yeah, she kicks over pretty good. With only 5,000 miles on it, it should be fine, I would think. We'll put some WD-40 down the cylinders, check out the spark plugs and all that fun stuff, but let's first see if this thing will light up and take a charge. All right, let's see if the battery has any juice. Got nine volts. Nine point three. So it does have a little voltage going to it. All right, let's get this battery out of here. All right, let's see if this thing holds a charge. Looks like the battery is not gonna be holding the charge. It's blinking. Means the battery's no good. That's a bummer. Well, we'll have to use the jumper pack. So it looks like this wire right here needs to be stripped and then put together with one of these. It looks like that fell off of it. So let's quick do that.
All right, that's fixed. We got negative. Go into the frame. Ah, look at that. Oh. <laughs> that is sweet. Lights up and everything. Horn works. Blinker does not work. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Okay, so blinkers don't work. Looks like the headlight does, yeah. Headlight works, that is a great start. <laughs> this might be an easy fix. Awesome, that's that's awesome. Let's see. There's a key for the second position too. Let's see what that does. Must not do anything. All right, cool. Well, we know that works. So the key is right there. I got that to work. It just goes right in now. Oh, there's a bunch of positions. All right, so that's pretty awesome. Um, everything lights up except for the blinkers, which I'm sure has something to do with the switch. But we can look into that further later after we get this thing running. Electric start works by some miracle. <laughs> Push the button right here and it turned over. Um, so really, all we have to do is check for spark. Hopefully we have spark. Clean out the carburetors, get the tank hooked up, and we should have a running bike, I would think. So let's start with the spark plugs. Let's get those out of there. Let's see, we have spark. Let's see if we've got spark though. That's the other thing. Spark plug looked like it was running pretty decent. A little black, but not bad. We'll put some WD-40 down there. Alright, on to the next one. Ooh, that one's pretty white. That's funny. The, the other one was black, this one's white. So this carburetor running a little lean. Probably wasn't getting gas at one point. All right, now we gotta check for spark. A little WD-40 down that cylinder as well. All right, I'm gonna hit the start button, see if she sparks. Looks like it might be on. Is it on? Yeah, it says it's on. Hmm. Not getting any spark here. Might have to deal with No spark on that one. Let's see if there's spark on this one. Oh yeah, this one's got good spark. So it's just the one that doesn't have spark. Hmm. Wonder what's going on with that. I wonder if it's the points. We can check the cable for the spark plug first. 
or it could just be the, the plug as well. But a lot of times this cable gets corroded in there. Yeah, I don't see any wire. There's literally no wire in there. So we'll cut that down. There's the wire. See what happens here. Come on, baby. Nothing. No spark. Let's check the points. I believe the points covers up here. I can't remember on these bikes. Either up here or down by the stator down there. Sure. I think it's right here, yeah. Alright. Here are the points. Points look good. Points look really good. Alright, I'm gonna kick her over. See what you guys see. Doesn't look like the right one's ever closing, really. There, it's closed. I think. We'll clean out these points. Then come back and see if we've got spark. Alright, let's uh, clean some of these points up. So basically the right one's not working, so let's clean that one first. I don't think we have to mess with the other one actually. Just a little bit of sandpaper. Clean off the points there. The gasket's falling off. I'll try her again. Looks pretty good. All right, let's see if she sparks here. Just cleaning the points work. Oh, I saw a spark. There we go. Saw for a brief second. I think I'm running low on juice here. But it was definitely sparking. All right, so we got spark now on the right spark plug. I cleaned the points one more time, and now the spark seems to be pretty good, pretty consistent. We're now going to look down the cylinder and see if the pistons are good. Got our camera right here. Gonna stick that down. Piston looks like it's right at the top of the cylinder here. You can see the valve sticking out right there at the top. Hmm. Kind of hard to tell. That one's kind of hard to tell. The piston seems to be in the way. Can't really get it to where I want it to be. Let's check this one. This piston's right at the top. Well, there's no holes in the piston or anything. At least we know that. So that's good. I was just kind of hoping you could see a little bit more down there, but. 
at least both pistons are there. I've had bikes before that the pistons robbed from them, so at least both pistons are there. It looks like the, the pistons are in good shape from the top. No holes in the piston. Cylinder wall look pretty decent. No scratches that I could see. Again, pretty hard to see, but um, yeah, so far so good. So we'll get those spark plugs back in and we'll get the carburetors off and go through those. All right, left carburetor, right carburetor. Let's take a look at them, see what's going on. All right, we're gonna start with the right carburetor. Take a look at that one first. I don't know if the lady cleaned them. I'm guessing not, but you never know. These might have to go on the ultrasonic cleaner for a bit. Ooh, look at that gooeyness in there. Yeah, these carburetors probably need the ultrasonic cleaner to get that out of there. It's like a thick oil. That's pretty gross. No gas in there, that's good. Needle looks good. Try to get these Jets out. Little caps. A little rusty on the top here. So these are CV carbs. It's a little stuck in there. We got that out, no rips in the diaphragm at all. So those we can be so those can be reused. That's good. Alright, everything's pretty much taken off this carburetor. That one will come out. It's pretty sticky in there. There, the pilot came. <sighs> that is definitely clogged up. <sighs> Completely clogged. All right, now we'll put everything in the ultrasonic cleaner. Let it probably soak for 30 minutes. Come back, reassemble everything. Oh, we forgot this guy. Fuel screw. Get that out of there too. All right, 
then we'll reassemble everything, put her back together, and that should be good. We'll move on to the left carburetor, but I won't go through that one because uh, we just went through this one. So we'll come back when they're all done. All right, carburetor's all installed. I'll get the ultrasonic cleaner. We got the other one on there. Just need to put the boot on there. But the choke works nicely. That's all hooked up. Everything is good to go. Throttle feels good. So let's get some gas lines on it. Um, I found out that the petcock that came with it isn't going to work for this tank. Because if you look at this petcock, see there's already threads on it. And look at the tank. There's already threads on the tank, so that can't go into there. So I'm guessing this is the wrong petcock, unless it's missing something. But yeah, we're gonna have to find a different petcock for it, I think. All right, we've got gas in both lines going to the carburetor. Let's choke it. And let's see if this thing starts up. Should be pretty interesting. Hopefully, she pops over. All right, let's see what happens here. First start, hopefully. Try her. think that was gonna fire up. Good thing we had the kickstart. We were running on the battery there. But yeah, fired right up. Sound pretty good. We gotta get it dialed in because it was not idling. But other than that, it sounded really good. Puffed out a couple black puffs of smoke there. But it cleared right out. Let me just check and see if we've got oil on it first before we run it anymore. I'm guessing it's pretty old looking. I'm happy with that. Should be a dipstick on here. Put 
There's oil up to about halfway. There's oil right up to there. So there's plenty of oil in it. Pretty clear too. Pretty clear oil as well, so that's good. Both are running, both pipes are hot. All right, we got more gas going down it. Let's see if she fires up. getting hot. I don't know what that is. Sounds like something's burning off. But uh, yeah, we put more gas down it and uh, both, both are running great and uh, now it revs up and stuff. So we just need a gas tank hooked up and we should be good to go. We gotta get the front tire pumped up. You can see it's flat. And then what else do we have to do to this thing? Just get it all reassembled. The front brake lever I put on just now, but it's kind of sticky. So we gotta get that unstuck. Then we have to get the blinkers to work as well. So a couple more things, but uh, it won't be that big of a deal. We'll do all that stuff next video and take it for the first ride. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on getting this 1970 Honda CB350 running. I know it was pretty fun. It's always fun hearing them start up for the first time. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And until next time, we are out.